unsolved. Tonight's episode, The Michael Z Connection. This is Michael Z's yearbook from 1964 when he was a junior, and right beside his name it says Zodiac. And this is a letter to the editor from Patricia, a classmate of Michael's, that accuses him of murdering Sherry Jo Bates. So, what is the likelihood that some student from Pacific High School calls himself Zodiac and writes strange symbols like the Zodiac letters, and a fellow student reports him as being the murderer of Sherry Jo Bates, and there not being a connection to the Zodiac murders in the San Francisco Bay Area. So after thinking about this for a while, I broke it down to three thoughts on the Michael Z connection. One, that the Zodiac is an older friend or relative of Michael Z. Two, the Zodiac is an older friend or relative of Patricia. Or three, the Zodiac is a school employee from Pacific High School. First, I want to go over the Zodiac's description and state that Michael Z has been ruled out by the Riverside Police Department and he doesn't match the description. So, as far as I'm concerned, he's not the Zodiac killer. It's not him. So the first person that I focused on was Alex, Michael's father. And while he fits close to the age, he was born in 1918, so it kind of puts him too old. And looking at this, uh, and he was in the military, but looking at this description, it doesn't match the Zodiac killer. So I rule him out. And then on the card, it says, Andrew, a brother. So I looked at him, and again, he didn't look like the Zodiac Killer. And then I looked at his mom's side and couldn't find anybody there. Michael is an only child, so he doesn't have any older or younger brothers. And so kind of ruled out everybody in his family. Now as friends, that's difficult because how do you find his friends? So I looked at the yearbook and seen what I could derive from that. And then I did some internet searches on old newspapers to try to find a friend there, an article with Michael in it and someone else that's a friend of his and I couldn't find anything. Now looking at Patricia, or Mary, I thought about her writing that letter to the editor, and that didn't seem like such a nice thing to do. You know, she could have went to the police, but going to the paper and putting it out there like that, unless she had some really solid evidence or something, That was kind of a backstab to Michael. And so she drew my suspicion. Like, why would she do that? Maybe she knows who committed the murder of Sherry Jo Bates. And that's why she wrote that letter to the editor. And so you can see from this newspaper article that she got married in 1969 to Melvin Chadwick. And so... They probably knew each other for a while. And so when Cherry Joe Bates was murdered, they probably knew each other. So suspicion, my suspicion drew on him. And that reminds me, I gotta check on him if he attended RCC before Cherry Joe Bates was there in 1966. 
So this article here is the obituary for Melvin Chadwick's father, and it names his brothers and his sister. And his sister has a connection to San Francisco. And so that is interesting. And I looked and I looked and I looked, and I couldn't find her name in San Francisco or her husband's. So I'm not letting that go. I'm going to keep working on that. The significance of the sister being in San Francisco is Melvin could have went up there and visited her during the times that the Zodiac Killer struck in July, September, and in October. Now this last thought focuses on a school employee because you have Michael being called Zodiac. Somebody, a killer, could have seen this after he killed Sherry Jo Bates or during the time that he murdered Sherry. And then he lost his job or moved from this area and moved up to Vallejo or San Francisco and got a job up there and started anew and started the this is the Zodiac speaking murders. So I spent a great deal of time looking at employees and trying to find exactly that, somebody that worked there that moved to the San Francisco Bay Area. And I always seem to focus on the janitors, the custodians, even though there's all kinds of employees. You have teachers, you have classified staff. There's many people at a high school. Cecilia Shepard graduated from Pacific Union College in 1969, and then she was killed shortly thereafter at Lake Berryessa. In 1965, she lived in Loma Linda, which you can see from this map is just south of San Bernardino and very close to Pacific High School and that area where Michael lived. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved. And I keep running out of time while making these episodes. I spend a lot of time researching and looking at things. A lot of things don't make the video. Anyway, I'll see you next weekend with the John Bonet case and then the Zodiac case.